Good morning. This is the Ramblings of an Undisciplined Mind podcast for Wednesday, February 17th, 2016. And as of this morning, Sierra is still missing. So I promise a non-political topic today, and I'm going to uphold that promise, which is maybe more than we get from our political peeps. But that is another show, because I promised. So space opera. You know, I first heard the term in high school when one of my compatriots tried to tell me in no uncertain terms that Star Wars was a space opera. Which, you know, had to be a lie <laughs> to my high school self. There is no way that could be true. And I, and I fought against that bitterly because there is no way that something as awesome as Star Wars could in any way, shape, or form <laughs> be related to anything with the word opera in its name. Because every, everybody knows opera sucks, right? So just just slapping that on there just is like, no, that can't be. That can't be. So I, I, I really fought against that at the time. But I really didn't know what, what space opera was. It was it was a new term to me, and you know I probably should have said, well, what the heck does that mean? As opposed to automatically assuming that no, that can't be the case. <sighs> so, uh, you know, over over time, I've I've since learned that yes, based on the definition, uh, space uh, Star Wars is space opera. So, what is space opera? In case you aren't aware. Uh, this is the the uh, definition from Wikipedia, which is, of course, the most prime source for all information everywhere. But space opera is a subgenre of science fiction set mainly or entirely in outer space that emphasizes space warfare and melodramatic adventure, and often risk-taking as well as chivalric romance, usually involving conflict between uh, opponents possessing advanced abilities, futuristic weapons, and other sophisticated means. So that's space opera. And, and you, can, you can tell that, yes, Star Wars is, is space opera. Uh, very much so. Uh, if you're watching the show The Expanse, I think that could be dermed space opera. Uh, I need to get caught up on that again. And I am enjoying that immensely. Uh, and actually, I want to read those books. I need to put those on my list. But I digress. So it's a term I've come become familiar with, you know, in the, you know, 30-some-odd years since high school. However long it's been. Too long. And the funny thing that that struck me as funny the other day is, is I don't know, probably like about a month ago or so, I was thinking about genres of writing. I was thinking about what could, you know, what could you write next? What could I write next? I don't know why I'm using third person there. What could I write next? A second person. Maybe a second person. I don't know. It doesn't matter. I digress. And, you know, the space opera kind of flitted in my brain. And I thought, yeah, it'd be cool to write a space opera. But, you know, I didn't have any real ideas of... of of what could uh, be a space opera at all. So, yeah, I've I've been kind of just letting that that pull back there. I've been reading a bit of space opera. Uh, I just finished last night... Uh, the Dark Between the Stars by Kevin J. Anderson, which is one of the Hugo nominees. And it was very good. I did enjoy it. I'm kind of, I'm kind of, you know, it, it's a continuation 
of a previous series. And I guess I should see how long that series is. It's, uh, I believe that that previous series, well, the universe was called The Saga of the Seven Suns. And it is, it is a space opera because it happens on multiple worlds. You've got multiple uh, bad guys that, and they're in space warfare. You know, so it, it hits all the high points. You know, they've got sophisticated weapons and, and ships and whatnot. Uh, a lot of technology going on. You know, so it is, it is, it is, you know, definitely, definitely in the, in the genre of space opera. Uh, the problem I'm, I'm having with it is that I'm not really sure if I want to read the, the previous series. And the main reason is, is, is that You know, there was a previous galactic war and there were these various different <laughs> bad guys that um, they had to fight that, that, that the humans and the other peaceful races had to fight and with one exception they all returned in this book now this book has set up future books I think there's another book already out I think I'd have to look But it's kind of, um, you know, I'm kind of wondering, okay, how much is really going to be different? There, there, there's, you know, obviously we're going to be working with the previous generation. There's a lot of people that are, that are like the fathers and the mothers uh, in this book that, you, you know, I can tell based upon how, you know, we're, we're, we're the main characters in the previous series. And this book is more with the next generation. So i got to look at it. You know, if it's a three-book series or, you know, whatever, I, I might be willing to do that. If it's like an eight-book series or some BS like that, uh, I'm probably not down with that. I'll probably continue in this series. I'll definitely continue this series because I didn't do the book. Although, I will say of my, my Hugo winners, I need to find out which one actually won the freaking Hugo. I need to figure that out. Uh, but of the two that I've read thus far, um, the Goblin Emperor definitely is the best of the two, I would say. I enjoyed that one the most. I'm now reading The Three Body Problem by, I think it's Chen Lu, L-I-U. Not sure on the first name. It might be a different first name. Uh, this is interesting, going to be interesting because it's it was it was written in Chinese. It was a best-selling novel in China. Uh, and it got translated. To English by, by somebody who knows both. Anyway, I, I kind of digress there, got away from space opera. So, yeah, so I've been reading space opera. And I was thinking that at some point it would be fun to write space opera. But I didn't think I really had an idea. And then about two, three weeks ago, I, I had this idea for a book. And I've been really enjoying turning this thing over in my head. Uh, I've, I've, I, I do have some notes written down in a Google Docs document on it. You know, the tentative plan is that that, is that that will be my nano project for 2016. And it dawned on me, like earlier this week or late last week, probably late last week, that it's a space opera. So, I do have a space opera idea. And, no, I'm not going to tell you what it is at this point. <laughs> Sorry. But I am, I am really enthused about this, about this project. Uh, it's something that I really want to spend time mapping out. Probably won't be able to do that until I'm done with uh, my last class. Uh, but I want, to, I want to further define the world... I want to write detailed character backgrounds for the majority of characters. I want to, to, to get together some background on the history of, of uh, the empire. There's an empire involved. And one of the things I'm, I'm struggling with, you know, so we've, we're going to have basically like the central core planets, if you will, and then we're going to have, you know, an outer rim, although I won't call it that. We're going to have 
you know, on the edges of civilized space, we've got, you know, uncivilized space, what Nathan Lowell calls toehold space. Uh, and that's where a lot of this book is going to take place, is out there on the edge. But I'm trying to figure out, is, is that going to be one, is that one solar system? Or does it need to be multiple worlds, multiple solar systems? You know, to me, to call something an empire, I don't know. That's stupid. You, know, you can, if we can have an empire with just you know one country or a small collection of countries, certainly, you know, a, a solar system in, in its entirety could be called an empire as well, I suppose. So yeah, that's the one thing I'm kind of noodling about right now is you know what do I want the scope to be? I know I'm going to need some F, some form of <clears throat> rapid tran, relatively rapid transit. You know, I I, I really want. I, you know, I, I I don't want going from the core worlds to the to the outer areas to be a trip that takes years, and probably not even too many months. So I gotta I gotta think about what that's going to be. I've also got an idea for an interesting geography <laughs> of the solar system. I need to do some Googling and see if it even exists. Uh, it seems like it, it, it's or been, been theorized. It seems like it ought to be possible in my brain, but I'm curious, I'm curious uh, if, it, if it is. So uh, I, I got a little research to do there. So yeah, uh, and the other thing I'm, I'm kind of thinking about if I can get that, if I can get that stuff, you know, done up in relatively short order, you know, so if I'm done mid mid June with class, if I can be working on that, you know, and get that done, maybe by the end of August or something, kind of finish my world building, and and this one I feel like I need to I need to to map it out. I need to outline it, and. Uh, But my hope is, 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 and my thought process is, is to take all that and uh, workshop it on the Roundtable podcast. Hopefully, hopefully I can get all that done before November. That might be a big, that might be a big uh, thing to do. I don't know. So there you go, space opera. What it is? I didn't like it. I didn't like the term. You know, I've since learned that just because it says opera doesn't mean it's bad. Doesn't mean we've got fat people singing. <laughs> you know, we've got we we we've got you know Star Wars, Shakespeare's Star Wars. You know, maybe we need to have Star Wars the space opera, <laughs> where it's actually singing stuff. You know. Uh, Make it a rock opera. Maybe, maybe like uh, Anakin could sing Bohemian Rhapsody after he's killed the after he's killed the the Padawans. You know, <laughs> great. I do not need this crap in my head. Oh gosh. Uh, anyway. I can't think about that. I'll be writing lyrics all day. Stop! Stop! Anyway, I am over time. I need to stop this before I get in more trouble. I will be back tomorrow, and I'll be talking to you then. So, be seeing you.